Monsoon storms unleashing some much needed rain around our state lately, but using that water wisely can be a challenge. ABC 15 investigator Courtney Holmes is introducing us to a couple who have committed to doing that and are hoping new funding can help you do it too. It's so exciting when it rains. On a dry Arizona day like this one, it's hard to grasp just how much rain falls at Jackie Rich's house in Phoenix. The water comes off the roof um, sometimes, especially in an intense rain um, event, it just sweeps right over the gutter guards and just falls on the ground. So much so. One particularly wet winter, um, I put out buckets. Those buckets turned into two dozen trash cans filled with rainwater. And it looked a little like a maybe a hazardous waste disposal site. We decided um, that we needed to do something different. Environmental managers by trade, Jackie and her husband Brock got to work looking for a more sustainable way to keep the water. What they found was the world of rainwater harvesting. We had a backhoe that came in and dug a 20 by 20 foot by five foot deep hole. You line it with a pond liner and then you fill it with a lot of, of irrigation tubes. With the help of friends, they built a 9,000 gallon cistern to help store excess rainwater that's captured by a series of pipes they've installed around their house. That huge storage tank. We park here is completely underground. And we park right on top. There's also a water treatment system in their garage to clean the water if needed. You wouldn't want to drink the water out of the cistern raw. All told, it cost about $12,000. But because it's the only water they use for landscaping, Jackie says the system has paid for itself in near complete reduction of municipal water usage. We pay the minimum amount that um, that you can pay for. To keep the account open. For Jackie and Brock, it's more than an investment. Take a look at Lake Mead, take a look at Lake Powell. It's their way of conserving what's left of Arizona's finite water resources. Arizona is, is truly a, a desert, and this is a desert city. And um, it was exciting to us. Uh, it reduced our, our dependency on other water supplies. When it rains, it's such a joyful experience. And to capture the rainwater and then to be able to continue to use it, it's kind of like prolonging the joy. Now, Jackie actually testified at the legislature earlier this year about her rainwater harvesting. Since then, the state has set aside $200 million for those types of programs as part of that big water legislation that passed. Now, how that money will be distributed is still being worked out. In Phoenix, I'm Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona.